All right, guys, I tried something new. I just went to YouTube, scrolled down a little bit, and chose a random song. Now, I'm actually familiar with Hobson. I haven't heard a lot of his new stuff. Um, you know, I mean, uh, Nocturnal Rainbows. That was one of my first introductions to hip hop. Um, so I'm familiar with Hobson, but let's get into it. Let's see what the man's got for us. First Hobson reaction on the channel too. Don't mess with Marcus. That's one thing I've learned. Open your eyes. I'm gonna tell you a story. How I manifested this in my mama's basement. I was complacent till I seen the light and I thought I gotta taste it. See, they didn't know me as the man you know now. I was hot with the braces. Now I'm the real deal with the ill will. I'm not with the game, bitch. Little did you know, way before a nigga was popping all the knock a cop with some noodles. Too road to ever go out to places that you go. The frugal lifestyle threw me into a new mode. He's saying he came from his mama's basement. He was too broke to go to the places that you go. I think that's what the line was. Let me know if it wasn't. He's going, I think he, this, he might be taking us back to the origin story. It looks like he might even go be going all the way back to Egypt, man. He might be getting historical on us. Let's see. Too broke to ever go out to places that you go. The frugal lifestyle threw me into a new mode. Yeah, damn. Mm. Problems is heavy as sumo. Restless, it was brutal. Begging to get approval. Had me thinking shit, am I ever gonna get my kudos? I couldn't be a quitter. The destination was too close. But I was a loser. No one informed me. Shit, I had the aura of Morty. Boy, I was corny. Every single horde ignored me. Lord, I was horribly damaged. And now it became my fucking origin story. I was uh, Morty from Rick and Morty said he was corny like Morty, you know, basically saying he was a lame little kid. Hey man, it's preaching to the choir. Let's go. Every single horde ignore me, Lord. I was horribly damaged, and now it became my fucking origin story. Yeah, nigga, I'm Heath Ledger as Joker. That boy hoppers the beast, never approach him. Out leave any of your seat left for the vultures. Act up, nigga, the beef and it'll be over. Word is bomb, my first is spawn. For rainy days, the penny pad is my first response. I then become a beacon in which the earth revolves. It's meditated before you know it, the bird is gone. Our world's beyond most, my legacy unfolds. To be John Doe doesn't come with the key I hold. And we all know there's moments I could be our hope to get you through chaotic dimensions that we all go. And as I fully unload emotions, I feel lost. Getting my whole self for fame was the real cause. It's like I thought getting my hands on a land Wait, 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 wait. I'm catching it, dude. If I'm sorry if you don't like it. I'm going back and catching it. Could be our hope to get you through chaotic dimensions that we all go. And as I fully unload emotions, I feel lost. Getting my whole self for fame was the real cause. It's like I thought getting my hands on a land boy and how crazy the fans go with hill scars. But I'm still hey. the same old me, same old insecurities, and they won't leave. I hear a voice saying, Marcus, to make your peace, you gotta surrender your ego and pay your fees. Hey. He's saying the fame didn't change him, man. The fame, he, he has the same exact problems he had in the beginning. Reaching that point of hopping in the Lambo, the fans going crazy. That didn't, that didn't cure whatever damage happened to him. He still has that, that shit internally he has to work out. You gotta surrender your ego and pay your fees. You still gotta do that inner work, no matter, no matter where you get. Tell you a story Let's do it. about how I built an empire from ideation. Let's go. I ain't need no persuasion, no. just a pen and a pad with my The Future Kings. So is this a group? This I've never heard anything by these guys. This is brand new. Let's go. Built an empire from ideation. Let's go. I ain't need no persuasion. No. Just a pen and a pad with my ideas racing. Yes. I remember them days when Wait. I thought negative friends were my permanent placement. Damn. But they didn't embrace me. So I severed the ties and got back to the basics. Go. Well, way to be. I Hang on, man. If, if people are holding you back, if you're doing positive things in your life and you got people saying, well, yeah, but what about that aspect of it? Isn't, gonna, isn't it going to suck when? Just fucking cut them off, guys. Do what do what's good for you, man. And if people don't want to get on board, it's like, look, it, take valuable critique if it's legit critique. But beyond that, you know, if you've got people in your life who their mentality is just simply negative, you got to cut them out. The more, the, if you really want to succeed, you're gonna have to cut some people out of your life that you love and care about. He didn't embrace me, so I severed the ties and got back to the basics. Well, way to be optimistic. We made it all this way without a pot to piss in. All the ones that told us we should stop, we ditched them, call them, bitch them. You all should have stopped and listened. Day one, homies, was a 
just say Oh, they're mobbing him. We should stop, we ditched them, call them bitch them. You all should have stopped and listen. Day one, homies was the same ones floating. Now we catch them in the drive through, wash your dishes. Cancel culture got these people mad, sadistic, bad to business. We done went from wrecks to riches. Yeah. All that bullshit for the birds. You only as good as your word. That's why I own all of my masses. It's motion on all of my verbs. All my opponents discouraged. Catch the on fire, the work is for hire. The world is inspired. My OG retired. Friends all go slide every time like it's down to the wire. Cause I ain't got nowhere to hide. Clip on my intellect, tech would extend or forget what these niggas expect. Thinking that I end up like my daddy, yeah. Best my ascension is imperative and evident. Yes, so on a war can't get your spirits in check. Slap the bitch out, you niggas snapping like a miss next. Let my dog down, that's an infinite stress, so I won't let you drown. Snapping like a miss neck? What? Best my ascension is imperative and evident. Yes, so on a war can't get your spirits in check. Slap the bitch out, you niggas snapping like a miss next. Let my dog down. Infinite stress, so I won't let you drown. We the only ones left. You guys let me know. Cries when I begged and I pleaded. Fell on deaf ears when my wound started bleeding. Ran out of reasons to live. I realized in the end that our friendship was all that I needed. Our worst hours, birth powers, cold showers. Couldn't throw in a towel. I'm no coward. Slow prowlers. All the blush with the tears. And as I stand with my peers, the globe's ours. Is that dragon fruit? Just to find myself again During low tides I'm compelled to win I have to I looked in the eyes of God In his face I held my sins Oh no Told him, don't mind the blood on my hands. I swear it's self-defense. He laughed, but he knew I was lying. Deep in my heart, I felt revenge. Okay, guys. Uh, we got so we got something at the end here. It looks like. Okay. So is that that's his new album? Minor disturbance. Guys, Hobson's production is starting to evolve more and more. Um wow. Now this is my first intro to the future kings. Um you know, yeah, they're all right. They got they got a little something there. Um I don't know any of their other work, so you guys let me know if if they've got some some really really good stuff, let me know. Uh, my thing on this channel is like you got to if you're not coming with a message or some form of quality artistry You better be coming with bars um, You know they, they had a little something in there um, Nothing too crazy in my opinion uh, Nothing not to take away from these these guys and you know their, their their journey and their story They're on the grind Hobson's trying to help put them on and I know that because I've never heard of the future Kings uh, A lot of people have heard of Hobson so he's trying to put them on and, you know, respect for that. I don't know if this is a hop building his own label and he's just searching out talent and he's he's um he's recruiting, man. There was an uh, interview. Jay-Z was asked, you know, was there any talent that you passed up on that you wish you could have signed? He said, no, we are signing everybody. Anyone in, in uh, all the people that came to us, you know, most of them. Um, so, yeah, man, uh, you know, not trying to take away from the future Kings or nothing. Thought it was a nice little track here, man. Um, Hobson, um, I'm a big fan. Um, I like a lot of his new stuff, too. I see his production has, has progressed. Um, that's that's something I'm very grateful for. Um, yeah, I'll wrap this one up. This was just kind of an on the whim. I'll do a quick reaction to these guys and, and see what's up. Um, but, yeah, man, I'm a, I'm a longtime fan of Hobson. Um, I, I've been listening to Hobson since... Um, you know, ill, ill mind of Hobson, uh, one, two, three. Um, and then ill mind of Hobson. Yeah, man. I mean, I was, I was, um, you know, started listening to him around that time when he was dropping, um, I want to say it was ill mind four. Shoot, man. Is it four? 
I can't remember which one it is. The one where he's got the white, uh, he's got the white fit on and he's going around the room talking to three different individuals. Um, maybe it was three. I don't know. You guys let me know. Could have been five. Um, but I, you know, I started when, when he was doing that. And so I've, I've listened to a lot of his stuff, but I can't react to his old stuff cause I've already heard it. I don't BS reactions. So, um, yeah, if you guys want me to check out more hops and let me know, um, otherwise you guys take care, stay safe and, uh, take care of your people wherever you are in the world.